the news in you, north, east, west, south, unite from every alley and Cali intersection and back street. In today's news, family, it's another sad story. A young 17-year-old killed his whole family, and that's off the charts. He killed his whole family. I'm going to run the names down for you. He killed Kizzy Childs, his 42-year-old mother, Raymond Childs, his 42-year-old father, Elijah Childs, his 18-year-old, Rita Childs, a 13-year-old, Kaima Hawkins, a 19-year-old, and her unborn baby. And it's crazy. And he killed them with the Draco, which is a known gun that most uh, gang members or people that's into the street life use. They love to brag about it on the songs, uh, in the streets. Yeah, I got the Draco. They do all the Draco songs and whatnot, which is crazy. But getting to the point of it, to kill your whole family is really sick, sick, sick. I, I don't get it. But then, too, we have to look at it. These new young people are very, very emotional. They run off pure emotions. They do not run off no logic or nothing. They're emotional. They're emotionalists. And that's very emotional to kill your whole family because your father told you you need to ask before you go out the house. Or as they say in the media, because he scolded you. Well, why did you kill your whole family? Why would you even think to kill your parent for scolding you? It might be more to the story, but still, it's nothing my parents can do to me to make me want to kill them. It's a sad situation. One of his, his younger siblings actually got away, and he ran down the street, and he was shooting at him with the Draco. He was trying to kill his younger brother, too, which is, I mean, what happened? I understand people snap. But that's snapping to one of the highest levels to kill your own flesh and blood. You know, I don't know. I don't know, family. It's 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 getting a little too much out here. It's it's over. This stuff is over the top. You know, and that's why you have to deal in the psyche of your children. And that means each and every one of us. Me too. I got uh, young men here that live in my house with me, and I check their psyche. I see how they moving, how they acting, you know, and you have to see how they acting. You got to have conversations with them to see where their head is at, too. Because they might be on some suicidal things, some some murdercidal. You never know what they're on. But that's what happens when we when we don't talk to each other. We don't know how each other's feeling. I need to know how you feeling. You might be feeling like F the world, I'm kill everybody. You know, but if nobody's talking to you about it, you talking to yourself, the devil's going to get in your head because in your head lives God and the devil. So the devil's going to get in your head and say, well, kill them all. And that would probably be what you do. You would probably kill them all, which is what this 17 year old man did. And it, it, it doesn't make sense. I, I keep saying it over and over again, family. We have to be careful out here even amongst ourselves, because people are on edge. Parents are on edge. The children are on edge. Everybody's in this pandemic, stuck on lockdown. And, and, and it's, it's showing the strength of the mind. The mind is getting, it's, it's getting those sick thoughts, you know? And uh, that's horrible. That's a horrible thing to do to your own family. But we still, we have to watch each other. We have to be each other's keeper. You have to be your brother's keeper. You have to be your sister's keeper. You have to see, uh, if you see some some weirdness in them, like, wow, they're acting strange. You got, then you got to start watching them. You got to start wondering, man, you ain't, you ain't acting yourself. Things like this will happen. Where you sleep and they just kill the whole family or all woke. You don't even have to be asleep. You have to monitor that. You have to monitor the people that you're surrounded with. You have to try to pinpoint that something ain't right with them. And if something ain't right with you, I might want to stay away from you. He's acting strange. I'm going to give him a break. I'm going to stay away from him for a while 
and I'm gonna keep my eyes on him, especially if they're in your house. Hey, I'm gonna keep my eyes on him because he's, he's acting too weird. He's not acting like his normal self. When they own a weapon, not just they'll, them doing harm to you, they might wanna do harm to they self. So when you have a young person that owns a weapon in your house, you have to really check their mind state to make sure that they're in the right frame of mind. I don't know if they knew that they, their son owned that Draco or not, but just think about it. If I knew that you owned a weapon and then I said something to you and you stormed off seeming kind of crazy, I would storm off right behind you and go right up in where in your room or whatever and try to find out where's that weapon and get it because I don't know where your mind's at. And that's what I figured. They didn't know where his mind was at. You shot your siblings upstairs before you even came downstairs and shot your parents. See, so that in itself is, is strange. It's really strange. You had to be very, very sick within your head, you know, and I don't know the family or the young man personally, but I know he would have to have been somebody with some kind of strange act, you know, acting strange or a, a person with a real bad temper. If you have a real bad temper, you don't need no gun, you know, and that's kind of case in point with this situation too. But with that family, I'm going to say what I always say, be careful out here. Be careful. You have to watch everybody, even your siblings, even your, your spouses. You have to watch them and see, uh, is something going on with their mental, you know, or they look like they about to snap. You need to pay attention to that. We have to pay attention to the signs that people give off, you know, and be safe in this 2021 because this is just the beginning. And with that, I'm going to say, this is the news in you, North, East, West, South. Your night from every alley in Cali, intersection and back street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. Peace, family.